And one thing that you and I have communicated about in the past is recognizing that people get their news in this country on social media platforms dominantly, right? They are the source of news and they're monetizing news and in the meantime, threatening journalism in many different ways and the viability of journal of journalists, uh, organizations and companies even. Um, the problem is, is that what counts for speech online isn't just speech. It's what goes viral, right? Whatever goes viral is right. what's visible. So in a sense, this idea of the public sphere, you know, as you describe in your book and, and many others do, as something where we all in some sort, some sort of equitable way are able to really talk to one another and listen to one another is confounded by the invisible uh, kind of architectures of these social media platforms that take the most extreme speech and the most hateful speech and make often, or at least inflammatory, and make it most visible and viral. And the, the former president was an expert in doing that on Twitter and now on Truth Social and other platforms. So we can't have a public sphere online if the the extremes are what comes come to us or our existing biases are confirmed. 